Hey you guys, welcome to Shut Your Cake Hole, where we talk about cakes, cakes, and cakes. Those of you who know me know that Halloween is my favorite holiday. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm telling you that Halloween is my favorite holiday. So I am very excited about today's episode in which I make a very scary cake. I have baked a pumpkin chai cake. So I cut my square cakes into an octagon, right? To a, oct to a friggin' stop sign. Because I really don't like square cakes. They're too perfect. Squares are so like whatever with their 45 degree angle and I'm like, whatever, I, right. I'm gonna fill these cakes with this orange chai spiced cream cheese frosting and a little drizzle of homemade caramel. No one here but those bones. No one here but us bones. We're going now. Go on and leave us alone. No one here but us bones. bones. For this particular cake, I really just wanted this dude's head on the cake. Dude, I called him a dude. He might be a chick. I don't really know. I wanted this guy's head exactly the way he is with all of the intricate details, the snaggly broken tooth on the bottom, and this is what I came up with. You can make plastic molding that's food grade safe out of glycerin and gelatin and a little bit of oil. And I will show you how to do that in another episode, I promise. So I have a combo of some modeling chocolate and some bone colored fondant. I'm just gonna start pressing it down and making sure that I get all of those details this modeling chocolate slash fondant is not going to be firm enough. So of course I am going to fill the cavity with some Rice Krispie Treats. All right, let's get my skull filled. My skull. Let's get my skull filled with Rice Krispies. I'm gonna tip it on its side and just start pulling my fingers. And I'm gonna let gravity do the rest. Awesome, perfect. That was cool. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna make a couple of appliques to go on the outside of our little tower of terror. These pieces of jewelry are what I wanted on my cake. Obviously, I can't stick jewelry on my cake. So I made these cool little molds. That's a little cornstarch. So I had some fondant that I had tinted gray. Cool. And then I'll give it a little brush with some black luster dust. And then I'm just gonna highlight with a little bit of metallic groovy green. Actually, I made this liquid compound out of a little bit of vodka, drop of yellow, some gold luster dust, and a little bit of leaf green. Pretty cool. All right, let's get these cakes covered. stone wall by pressing this into the cake. Fellows homes failing, the lights are faded. Got no power since half past four. Adding some support, so we're gonna stack these cakes. This is the Valley Nights of Monsters. I do want to go in and give just a little bit of dimension. I'm going to use some Ceylon cinnamon. I did add a few little stones and boulders around the perimeter. I also put a little mortar in between the layers. I made this cake board as well, and I swear I'm going to show you guys how to make your own cake boards. 
That's cool. All right, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this scary Halloween episode of Shut Your Cake Hole. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. But if you have a mind to leave me any shitty comments, you better shut your cake hole. <laughs>